landing page we found is a great way to test new business ideas without spending a lot of money. And for those of you who aren't familiar with what a landing page is, a landing page is just a simple web page or website which just explains your idea or concept to someone who might not be familiar with it. So hopefully some of these tips will get you started on creating a landing page so you can start testing a lot of ideas that you might have but you don't know where to start. So the first step is you gotta brainstorm a bunch of ideas. So maybe you want to consider building a chipping, chicken coop or selling an ebook, whatever your idea might be but you're not sure about, write all those down so you can say, okay, I'm gonna test these ideas. The second thing is you just need to create a web page. So some people use a blog, you can use services like onbounce.com where they make it really easy for you, even if you don't know how to program, to basically explain your idea to figure out, uh, you know, to present your idea to audience people. And when the second part, when you actually do create that landing page through these sites, you gotta make sure that you have some type of call to action. This is a way for you to actually get actionable feedback to see if this is an idea worth pursuing or not. So the best way that we found is actually putting a box in there to say, hey, if you wanna learn more about this, give us your email and we'll email you when we, when we decide to go live with this. Uh, it's also important to note that on this landing page, it's important to put some type of analytics so you can actually review and compare the different ideas to see which one was better than or not. The third point is after you have these landing pages up, you really wanna drive traffic to them. And there's a number of ways to drive traffic to a page. The best way we found is just buying simple ads. Facebook ads, Google ads, LinkedIn ads, even plenty of fish, dating ads. There are a lot of great platforms for you to start driving traffic to that page to see uh, how people respond final point is you got to analyze the results. So since you put that Google Analytics on that page, you should be able to look at it and compare the different ideas and see, oh, this idea got more traffic and we got more signups. Hopefully by following these tips and tricks, you'll be able to evaluate which idea for you is the one you want to pursue without having to spend a lot of money on it.